Good morning, guys. So today in library, you got to read about some dinosaurs and research some dinosaurs. And today we're going to draw some. So I'll show you how to do a couple different kinds of dinosaurs. We'll do a T-Rex, we'll do a Stegosaurus, and we can do a Brachiosaurus. You might want to draw just one of them. You might want to draw all three. It's up to you. So let's get started. So we're going to start with this Brachiosaurus. And if you want to draw just one dinosaur, like I did here, you're going to make him nice and big. But if you want to fit in some of these other guys, you might want to start off drawing a little bit smaller. I'm going to draw big so that you can see it better. So the first thing we're going to do is make an oval for his head. Like that. They have long necks, so you just need to make some long lines down like this. And his back sort of bumps up. So I'm going to bump up and keep it going down, 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 down for a long tail. Now to go give him legs, you just need to go straight down, go across, and back up again. You can go across for a belly. He needs a hind leg here. Straight down across, and then you can connect the line for his tail. To give him his other leg on the other side, you just need to go down, down, across, down, down, across. And it looks like he's walking. Now we could add some details. We can give him an eye, a little nostril, and a smile. Maybe he's got eyelashes. We can do a little bumpy line for toenails. We need to give him a ground to walk on because he's not a flying dinosaur. And then just to give him a little bit more detail and texture, you can give him some spots on him. Just makes it look a little bit more interesting like that. If you want to get creative, I know that they, these usually don't have spikes on them, but you can do that because we're using our imagination. And ta-da, you have a long neck dinosaur. So next you would color him in, you would give him a background. Maybe if you're getting ideas from the book Mrs. Delia read, you can draw some buildings around it. That's what, kind of what it looks like in If the Dinosaurs Came Back, just some buildings in the background. But that's just an idea. You don't have to do this. And it looks just like a page in the book, doesn't it? So this is our first dinosaur. Now I want to show you how to draw a couple different kinds. I'm just going to move this paper to the side. So let's start with our T-Rex. T-Rex, his head is kind of a roundish shape too, but their heads are a little bit bigger than our long neck dinosaurs. So we're gonna make a nice big shape. Like that, kind of like a block head. And then for his body, we're just going to make a nice curved line. So I'm gonna start from here and curve out for his stomach and then curl up for a tail. To make his back, I'm just going to go straight down from the top of his head and curl up his tail. T-Rex's arms are really tiny up here, so about here I'm going to go out and then do a zigzag line for like claws and in. I can give him another one. Zigzag line for claws but their hind legs are bigger. So I'm going to make sort of like a number two to make one hind leg bump up and across like a two. Then I can do a zigzag line for his claws. Here's one leg, a two. Here's his other leg. And now we'll add our details. Give him some eyes. I know those are kind of like silly looking dinosaurs. There's his nostrils, mouth, give him big 
sharp teeth like that. Give him a little bit of pattern. Go like this, little curvy lines. They look like scales. And there's our T-Rex. Next to him, I'm going to put a little Stegosaurus. So again, we're going to start with his head. It's just a round shape. Like this. And his body is sort of like a semicircle. So curve up. I'm going to go up here for a tail. Down. And then give him some legs. Rectangle. Rectangle. Give him little toes. Rectangle. Rectangle. And then the spikes on his back point to up like that, like little houses, pentagons, shapes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All down his back. You do little ones in between if you want to. Eyes, little nostril. And we'll give him a pattern too. Let's give him some little spots. And you have some cute little dinosaurs. So that's it for today. I really hope you send me your work. I hope you had fun drawing these dinosaurs. And I'll see you next time.